You're on. Hey, good morning, gang, and welcome to Bald Eagle Fishing Adventures. No fishing today. Today, actually, I'm doing something really extremely important, and uh, I'm glad I'm going to be able to share this with you guys as well. Today, I'm changing my prop out. There's nothing wrong with the prop that I have um, as far as the prop itself. Um, the challenge is, is that this prop is a 15 inch uh, diameter by 17 inch pitch. And great prop, perfect for what I was using the boat for initially, where it was just my wife and I, and uh, you know, maybe a little bit of salmon stuff and a little bit of rockfish. But now that I'm going to be going offshore, carrying uh, more people, carrying more gear, heavier stuff, uh, and even the catch being uh, a much bigger catch that we're going to hopefully be bringing back, this prop is not going to get it done. And what I'm getting at is these manufacturers of these outboards, and I would also assume, I'm assuming that uh, inboards are kind of in the same boat, no pun intended, um, they have what they call a sweet spot on the RPM range. And for my 200 Yamaha, it is 5,800 to 6,000 RPMs. And uh, the last couple of trips I have taken out to Rittenberg Bank and having the folks and all the gear and all that stuff, I've noticed that the RPM range will not get past 51 to 5,200 RPMs. And that's an issue. And the issue is because if the engine can't reach that 5,800 to 6,000 RPM, it's working way, way too hard. And the boat is not going as fast as it should. Um, it's everything is just working harder. And that can actually cause premature uh, destruction of the engine. And so um, over a long period of time. So that's why I decided to get a little bit smaller prop. So I'm going from a 15 by 17 to a 14 and a half diameter and a 15 inch um, pitch. So um, that is going to allow the RPMs to come up. And just to give you a quick reference, for every inch that you drop in diameter, so diameter of the, of the prop, for every inch that you drop, you gain about 500 RPMs. And for every one inch of pitch that you drop, you gain somewhere around 150 to 200 RPMs. So by switching out to this new prop that I'm gonna be putting on, I'm hoping to gain somewhere around 600 RPMs. That will now bring me back up into the sweet spot and it'll allow the engine to work properly, it'll get better fuel economy, and the boat will actually go faster. So. Uh, really important. That's what I wanted to share with you guys. And today we're going to do real world uh, uh, experience with this as well. So we're going to take the boat out before I take this one off. We're going to bring it at to full RPM. The fuel tank is full, 105 gallons of fuel on board, my wife and I. And uh, we're going to do a, a test and we're going to see what the RPM range is. We're going to see uh, what the speed of the boat is. And those things, um, we'll see what then, when I replace the prop, what they end up actually, what we gain from it or what we lose. So stick with me and we're going to get started here right now. So we'll, uh, we'll be right back. All right, guys, so here we go. We're going to do real time. Here's the RPM over here and I will be reading off miles per hour off the GPS. So here we go. test the new prop and see what our numbers look like. Here we go. You can tell the whole shot's already better. 
Oh yeah, there we go. RPMs are coming up. So we got about 5,500 RPMs right now at uh, about 29, 30 miles an hour. So not bad, not bad. Definitely we gained about 400 RPMs I was kind of hoping for about 600, but this is pretty damn good. So we're at wide open throttle, doing about uh, 30 miles an hour right now. And uh, yeah. Hey guys, so. Uh, we uh, ended up doing, uh, you know, our change out of the props, the road testing. You guys saw that. And all in all, I'm happy. Uh, I wish I had picked up maybe a couple more hundred RPMs, but for right now, I think this is uh, much better than where we were at. I gained about 400 RPMs. And um, it's got the engine a little bit closer to the, the sweet uh, area so uh, of RPMs at wide open throttle. And... Um, I may even have to change out with another prop down the road, but for now, I'm happy with what uh, the results I got with this one. So anyways, if you guys got any questions of any kind, please give me a shout. I'll answer them the best I can or at least direct you to, uh, to uh, where maybe you might be able to find that information. Um, the only thing I, I got out of what Yamaha's you know, realm of what they want to see is that uh, your wide open throttle, however you have your boat set up, if you add more and more weight to the boat, obviously the engine is under more pressure and it's gonna slow the RPMs down to that engine, pushing that much more weight. That's why you may need to adjust and put a little bit different prop on there, maybe a little less pitch and maybe a little less diameter. Um, it's <laughs> The world of props is a, an interesting world for sure. So anyways, for any of you that have boats or maybe have friends that have boats, uh, you know, you might want to share this video with them just so that they're very familiar with making sure that their boat is operating in that proper RPM range. Um, because it does affect, if you can't reach that 58 to 6,000 RPM, even I'm not able, even with this other prop right now, um, but I'm a much closer situation, um, then you're kind of losing that horsepower throughout the entire RPM range. And you're just making the engine work even that much harder, even though Personally, I never push my boat all the way to wide open throttle. A lot of times the ocean just doesn't allow for something like that. Um, anyways, uh, thanks again. Thanks for sticking with me. You found this, uh, this video informational and uh, something that you can use for yourself. Please hit that subscribe and that like button. My wife and I sure appreciate you guys. Thanks again, and I'll see you on another uh, fishing episode of uh, Bald Eagle Fishing Adventures. Bye, gang.